Okay. So, yeah. I hope everybody had an enjoyable film. <laughs> um, yeah. Welcome to the film discussion now. It's very nice that we have such an in international um, uh, audience here and we are very happy that the connection to Yakuba is also working well. Uh, today, um, it's really an honor to have Yakubu Zavod Ogo here at the film discussion and um, Kali from, uh, from his village who is now living in Geneva it will translate today. So thank you also Kali for being here and also organizing this actually. Um, yeah, so um, I think I don't need to do any more introduction. I will start immediately with a question and yeah and then I will give the word also to, to the others. Um, so my first question would be um, what how was the time in the Quran school and how did it influence um, Yakuba uh, for his work later in Gurga? <laughs> Ti yambanda be ekola mali yamanking ekola ya. Ti yambanda be be nwa ya wanto to le passe yambanda yi karanga le bogon sing yamba tu mati songa yamba wanto to me. Oh, <laughs> He says that uh, he's uh, very happy because while doing the studies, uh, it helped him a lot. When he came back, he saw uh, he could help other people. So he's very happy uh, because of this. When he was doing his studies also, it was really hard. <laughs> Basically, you were without your family and you had to beg for your food. So it was very hard. And did he also learn some agriculture there? Yeah. <laughs> When he was there, they they taught him how to cultivate. And he followed his master, who was uh, doing uh, agriculture, basically. And with that, he learned. And if uh, he said that um, it's by learning this that he wanted to de develop it more. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Does anybody else have a question? From the yeah, Gunta, please. Good evening to everybody. Um, my name is Günther. I'm working in the Catholic University Parish of Salzburg. And my, my question is, um, I didn't really um, understood, in, I didn't really understand in the film why Jakuba, why did 
did you close the shop in the city to go back to the village because your your um, your shop was was running very well so i i really didn't understood i didn't understand why you closed it yes tinda yuri la aguntea zabra sukra in that on suka ya boyinga le yamba paga yamba boutique yamba ndata raga pura nanking into man kuba yamba boutique raga pura ra tumara e soma beni ti boyinga le yamba yeli ya yamba nam paga raga like in kubo ni ni pa um de boyinga le yamba mano yende ke pumps namba se se ya so Yakuba said that um, he closed the shop because he uh, he saw something better in the future with uh, agriculture, and by seeing something better for the future, he decided to close his his shop. I just want to say hello to Yakuba. Hello, Kelly. Great to see hello. you. How was the harvest this year? It was a good harvest this year. Excellent. Uh, I wanted to ask uh, Yakuba also what makes him so connected to his land because he was also away for many years and yeah, how did this love for his land uh, de has developed? Yeah. <laughs> Tara Tambangia. The boy man, eh? Yamba Suda, Gadden, yet Yamba Nambe, Yamba Nan Lebogo, Yamba, Tinganga Yamba Bibuma. Tiamba Lora, eh? Mbasset Tikausi. Boy man, Tiamba Suda, yet Yamba Nan Lebogan King. He uh, basically the love for the land that he had is because his grandparents had it, took care of it, his parents had it and took care of it also. And by doing that, he said that um, he could bring help to many people. And uh, that's basically <laughs> why he loves his land and why he returned and that why he's there. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, um, since Mark Dot is also here, I would ask you, um, how did you come to know Yakuba and his work? <laughs> Well, how long have we got? <laughs> that was a pure, um, pure chance, actually. I, um, this was back in 2007, I think it was. I was working for the BBC uh, as a cameraman, and I had a friend who was living out in Burkina Faso called Ashley, Ashley Norton. Um, and I went just to visit him one year to see how he was doing. And uh, it was right up in the north of, uh, of Burkina Faso. And there wasn't much to do there for, for the average tourist. So Ash suggested uh, we visit this interesting farmer. Mm. So I thought, okay, well, <laughs> let's do that. So we turned up, but we went down, the, down like a track and then through some um, 
uh, kind of like a barren area. And we eventually turned up at Yakuba's house and we waited for a little bit. Someone called him and then he arrived on his moped and went and just gave me a tour of his of his place, of, of the crops and of the of the trees that he planted. And I was absolutely blown away. I couldn't I couldn't believe what I was seeing. And I we just afterwards we sat down and I and I kind of did an informal interview with with Yakuba. And it was quite long winded because of course I didn't speak any more. I and uh, it, you know it, it, we had Ashley there who was speaking French, so he was having to tr- translate it uh, for someone else to, to speak into into Moray. So it's quite a long convoluted process. But as he was speaking, I just thought this 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 needs to be made into a film, and I I thought it's a great a great um, screenplay. But I thought, well, you know, you can't making a screenplay would be um, way too ambitious. So I um, decided I wanted to turn it into a documentary, and that was just, that was how that how it all started. And the, the name, the man who stopped the desert, came to me there and then in that very first meeting, um, and uh, that was that was the first time we met back in back in two thousand and seven. So it's like like I say, it's pure chance. <laughs> Great done. <laughs> yeah, really wonderful film. <laughs> And I'll just add one, one thing to that that thing. The only reason Ashley knew about about um, Yakuba was because Dorcas Kaiser, who is who you can see there, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dorcas, she was working with Yakuba in, on on his property, and she had she had a problem with a video camera battery or something, and she was staying <laughs> in the same hotel, it wasn't really a hotel. Um, uh, as, as Ashley, and he had to go there and try and help to fix the camera. I think, and I think that's how he got to meet Yakuba. <laughs> I think that's the, I think that's why it's a the technical best. problem. <laughs> 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 and Dwarkas, how did you come to Yakuba's place? Um, hi. <laughs> yeah, so nice that uh, you are here. Yakuba, Kali. <laughs> <laughs> Great to see you all. Um, how did I come to? Uh, it was actually more or less also incidents because I would have, I should have started in Kotiwa, my, my thesis. So it was not planned that I go to Burkina. And then uh, we met, um, what did we come? I think uh, by the, yeah, um, um, how is it called? Um, in German? Ja, ich war über über das französische Institut. Über das französische Institut in 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 Waga. It was actually uh, we were looking for something um, how to study the role in uh, with termites, the role of termites in soil restoration. So it was clear when we came to Waga to and to the uh, university. Uh, and to, um, how is it called? The Institute, the French Institute, Mon Dieu. That's really bad. That's anyway. Really yeah, yeah. Uh, who, who is doing? I will, I will remember. It's just like. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> um, so, and uh, so we had to know um, Jakuba because by that he was already, at least in, in Waga, he was really um, known already. So he was already with the president, uh, with the, uh, in the fields of the of the president, so he was already known in in Waka. So I, it was pure chance that I came to Burkina Faso, and it was that's what happened to me that I came to meet Yakuba and mm-hmm. his and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's it. Um, I wanted also to ask how Yakuba. Uh, um, learned the um, uh, Oxfam technique, the, like the stone walls technique. Ara tambang ya. Wanto to le yamba zamsi yene le yamba zamsi yamba diki de kugon kala neta ba ti yamba zamsi yende yeni. Eh, ba ya kundi zamsi de ya alpin de pin de le yamba papa.
Kasun macam, pasti umda, anda hisi ngan cekta, alam tahan umda padu, padu, cengeng dapat. Then it turned to me after my chamber song with a king and pass. I turned to Katawi. When they sing a tap, I look at Tarundo, pull the Katawi, and Papo. I never found a body. Yes, um, he learned the technique from his ancestors, and he also said that while he was studying in Mali. They taught him this technique, and that's uh, how he went to reproduce the same thing in his farm. And he wanted to also add that uh, since he started doing his work, it has been success successful. And if you do a good work, it will be successful. What he is asking for you guys tonight is to keep helping him and basically uh, pushing him on so the work will be even greater. Mm -hmm. We'll try so. Yeah, Kunta wanted also to say something. What? Thank you for this really uh, amazing and beautiful film. Thank you, Mark. It's really a good work and a good documentation. My my question is, um, I'm very impressed of the technique. And um, Jakuba, do you do you think that um, your technology or your technique of Sai will work in other countries also? where the region are dry and where the rain are very um, rari, yes. Or, or does, it, uh, does it only work in, in Burkina Faso, in your region? Thinking it in a tone that I'm living man as I what thing I think I'm missing quick what on the thing and Tisara Cabewa thinking to man as I be in a me Tinan Tora may be be a Burkina Faso by Zaya Sakada. Is that true? Is that true? Yeah, I'm going to tell you about this. I'm going to tell you about this. Jamana Taro, uh, the technique of Zai is uh, to be used anywhere. He's taught Zai in many places and it's, uh, it's been working. So Zai can be used anywhere. Hmm? <laughs> What he wishes to what is is the Zai is a technique that is usable anywhere in um, any place. You can use it either to grow crops or to grow trees. It works, um, and it's it. Zai is a technique that will help people basically have the food that they need or grow the trees that they need. It's a, a great technique. And how can I learn it if I'm not in Burkina Faso in or in his region? How can I learn? Or how can people learn it in other uh, in other countries or in other? Yes, maybe in Asia or in. In other dry regions. 
Wa ne da yanda tun zamu su zaya lafa bai Burkina Sene wa sai in bai halfo na satin ga sani wa shin bi tin sa sun kuye zinye ya ta saba ma da wanto to ban zai to mu da ne kawai wata ma'ana kuma ya su kuma ji wala ne da shambe wa tin fa bi ne fa to kan da ta zaya ku mu dan ku amma da wanto kuma da wanto wa wuni ne gidi wata nan karban rafuɗin gidi da ya fi a wata nan kin da ya gudu ne ne man fansa mam sai kin yi da sun da ba sai ta da wa man karban he said that uh in order in order to learn zai the person can come to him and he will teach or him himself will travel to the person and teach he's been teaching zai for many years and if the person comes he will learn can, can i just um add add to um that, that response um from what i um understand and uh, in terms of where you can do zai you can pretty much do it in, anywhere but it's it's particularly suited to the uh kind of um barren lands of the sahel mm-hmm. it's it works very well in very hard compacted earth it works well where the earth the uh, topography is quite flat so that the water collects uh, other places you won't it's not not needed if you've got lots and lots of water you don't really need it so it works very well in those particular areas um and regarding where else um the how, how how to learn zai well at the moment um yakuba and his family are doing what they what we call master classes and ashley who is my friend I spoke about earlier on has organized a lot of funding for people to uh donate so that yakuba can uh, p- uh carry out these classes without losing income from the fields when he's not working in the fields he's teaching people and so of course that's lost income um and a lot of these questions that people are asking are actually uh have been uh, uh, if i can direct people to 1080 films website there's a whole there's a link there of lots and lots of uh, footage which we didn't include in the film and it's a long interview with chris ray who's the soil and water expert and there's some technical things in there so if you just go on to that and click on to uh I can't remember the it's on the website it's 1080 uh film and television.co.uk or just google it and in in there somewhere you'll see a link to lots and lots of uh questions an extended interview with uh Chris Ray so that's quite a useful resource for that for those kind of things mm, thank you very much um there was also there's also a question from Rosemary and Ingo um in future how is the chance to defend the traditional art of agriculture against modern art with example gene manipulated seeds or example urbanization and how important do you think is the compost part in zai will it also work without compost they uh, it's written in the chat yeah. thank you ingo and rosemary eh you dey embrun gulu sun da tan bange ti eh sen da tan mane ti eh yamba tuma pa yamba tuma ti i don't really understand very well the question i think it's about um yeah how to how to maintain this traditional but it's a, it's not only a traditional but like yakuba's technique um and um yeah spread it more instead of uh, letting modern techniques come um closer and maybe it's also the question how is it now with the urbanization in like around gurga did they uh came closer um is it hard to fight it um yeah maybe in this direction unless rosemary and ingo please correct me eh ba ra tan bange e runda runda duniya le sans da sam pa ket waya sam singa ba ra tan bange za bara ti yamba tu ma yamba tu da ti wo yu gila yamba ne ti ne ba ket me da wat yamba zin sa seno ti yamba yenda tun zaba ne yenda yamba manda wantoto ngada ti yamba tumda pa yamba tuma 
he said that uh, he says that uh, he will fight to keep the traditional way of uh, the doing of his doing sorry um when uh, when something when you have a, a work that is good you will keep fighting to keep that that work um what he he will do is basically ask for the people that are higher than him to help him to keep his traditional ways and basically keep um his ground in um his forest in in gurga Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, he added to his response by saying that um, he keeps fighting, but the city of Foyugia basically keeps coming into his forest. And until today, the forest still doesn't have its papers and uh, people are coming and building in the forest and around the forest what he wishes to have today is um, help to basically build a wall around his forest. He himself is tired of fighting, he's old now. Um, and his son said that basically even he isn't working because he is taking over the fight that his father is fighting to keep the traditional way and to keep this forest alive. Could I ask uh, Kelly, um, who, is it the local authorities that is the problem? Because Yakuba has been given, he was, he's met the president when he mm -hmm. came back um, from his award in uh, Stockholm. He, uh, he, he was an international, he was a national, you know, uh, hero. They so the president knows of him. Yeah. So the question is, I, I, I'm finding it quite difficult to understand uh, who the fight is with? Is it, is it local people or, or what? Maybe you could um, shed some light on on what where, where the struggle is with. Si zabra yamba zabra rundo rundo aya. Yane neba bi bi ane meiriwa. 
Okay. <laughs> I finally understood who the fight was with. Um, what he said basically is um, they were pro promised the papers, but they still haven't received them from the, 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 the leaders of the country. They still believe that something good will come out of it. Uh, the fight that they're leading also is just people walk into the forest and uh, cut any tree that they want. So he wants a wall around the forest to keep it out. And uh, by, ha by doing this, he can basically teach the people that want to learn. And when someone needs medicine from the plant, they will come and ask him instead of just going into, into his property. Is it quite clear? Okay, okay so to summarize, the, he's hopeful that the, the papers of ownership for the land are on their way, mm -hmm. but they haven't arrived yet. No. But he's hopeful that will happen. Um, but he still is, to, in order to secure the forest, he has to build a fence. Yes. There won't be a wall as such, will it? I think it would be a fence which will... Uh, wall, but yeah, yeah. yeah I, I think it's a fence too. Yeah. Okay, okay. Be interesting to know. I mean, it's, we feel quite powerless over here in order to do anything. But, um, I mean, there's, there's not a lot we can do. I mean, he, he's, he's now internationally known, and I'm hoping that that kind of puts pressure, mm -hmm. that um, he's not just, um, you know, walked over. And um, how is it possible to support him with the wall? Yamba we uga ya. Ti song na yamba wan toto. Yau mam. Ne bo mam. Eh, onde sa onde sendate ya pipi ya zia rogom chebura. Yenda mga mam em toko sa dam. Ah, wala. Eh, onde sendate kamera te ni wala la gan giligi. Hmm. Ya tonto. Okay. 
in order to help them build defense, they uh, will require money. But first of all, he's, he came back to um, the issues of the forest not having the papers. So basically what they want nowadays is for the leaders of the country to keep on their words and get the papers of the forest and in order uh, to get the papers of the forest in order to preserve his work and not just let it perish. Mm -hmm. So is it possible to write also to these uh, politic uh, like politicians? there are people that uh, you could write to. I, I can ask them for them. I can ask them to send me a list if you want, and I'll, I'll forward it to you by email. Mm -hmm. And he also added that uh, if we if if people gather together to save the forest, basically, uh, we will have a better outcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, we try to help somehow. Um, there was also the question from Martin Sturmer, um, if Yakuba is involved in the Great Green Wall initiative, which is aiming to grow an 8,000 kilometer green belt across the Sahel region. Mm. Mm. Aziz, <laughs> 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 Okay, Titu Because <laughs> Um, he wasn't aware of the Green Wall Initiative, but since uh, he will learn something, then he is interested. Great. <laughs> Um, I wanted to come back to Dorcas Kaiser because she wanted to add something <laughs> and then I wanted also to ask you because of the termite, uh, I know from the Yoruba culture also there are these holy woods uh, where they plant um, in the wood also crops and 
plants who are used for pharmacy. Is it similar in Yakuba's land? Um, I didn't get the question. Where? Where is the one? In Yoruba you... culture, also there are these holy woods, uh, forests, where they grow also um, plants for medical yeah. use in Yoruba yeah. culture. In the Yoruba culture, like in Nigeria ah. or... <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> really bad. Um, and what was the question <laughs> If, if uh, Yakuba's land is similar, if they plant also in the forest, the crops and the medical plants and so on, and because also termites have a role in these holy woods because it's connected to water. And yeah, that's my question. <laughs> okay, I'm, um, I definitely wanted to add that. Okay, wait, first I have to, I really have to apologize for before that I didn't know any names, I have to say, because if my professor listened to this, I will be dead. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, only to shortly say who introduced us to, to Jakuba, uh, because he will know the name also. Um, I did my I did my thesis in um, under Professor Linsenmeyer in Würzburg with Biota, and my supervisor was... Suleiman Konate from Kotiba, from the Ivory Coast, where I should have gone. And his supervisor for his thesis was Michel Lepage, who was, work, who was working at that time at the IRD, the French Institute in Ouagadougou. And he knew or was working together with Yakuba. Um, so it was just steps behind, but there were reasons why we landed um, so sorry for that. Anyway, um, I before I wanted to add um, this, what my study uh, revealed. Of course, I cannot say how uh, ch uh, the, about the general applica uh, ap application, but um, the termites were the initial um, have a really um, profound. Um, role in this in uh, in the size system because they are initiating the first step so when he when Jakuba puts in the the manure the compost it attracts the termites who channel channel the um, to get the food and to open uh, the soil uh, so the um, the water can infiltrate deeper than the holes so it gets out of the area where um, it um, uh, where, oh my gosh, my English is really bad, sorry. Um, where uh, it gets out of the, of the area where the soil can, oh my gosh, this is really bad. Sorry, really, 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 really bad. Okay, so, but. You can also switch to German if. I yeah, this is wirklich, wirklich, es ist wirklich schlimm. Die Termiten, die traben den, den Tunnel und, und erreichen den Kompost in den Pits, äh, und verhindern so, dass das Wasser, ähm, na wie heißt es? Ähm, nein, nein. nein, dass es von der Sonne nicht, dass es durch die Hitze nicht einfach, ah, einfach okay. verdampft. Ja, genau. Ja, also, okay. So, um, but uh, what would be, what we never uh, found out or what, what the next step would have been, uh, uh, would have been to, to look if it, um, if the size system would work in any area um, where the temp uh, where the rain is like around this 400 to 600 millimeters, what also uh, Chris Ray tells in the um, in the movie, I think, um, what are um, with this, what also Mark said the the, the um, degraded barren area is one important uh, sector. Yes, where the size is working. So also the termites would be a really important. Uh, factor to uh, to work. Um, so, what we don't know is there. For example, I found out um, there's one special uh, species of termites who is doing the initiation, the first step from the degraded or from the millet field, that it really starts. Or oh my gosh, it's really bad. Um, so, but what would be? Uh, I mean. It, it could just be that um, in another place it would be another species, for example, um, or um, like um, can it be 
I mean, does it have to be that termites are the dominant macrofauna in the area because this is the, the fact in, in Burkina Faso? And, but also, how far can the termites be away um, uh, to get to the place? Because, I mean, if there's all degraded around, the termites need to have food. So we don't know uh, what has to be the general setting. Mm. But in, in this area where you said uh, termites are ma m the dominant macrofauna, it's, it's dry, I understood. Or what did you say? The, how are the conditions in the area, what you asked? No, I, I, I wanted to ask if also in, in like Yakuba's land, um, crops and forest and uh, he uh, healing plants are all together on one uh, place. Yes, yes, yes. Mm, yeah, I wanted to ask this just. If they are all together in one yeah. place, mm -hmm. yeah, that is actually the uh, the big idea of Yakuba that mm -hmm. he said the trees are giving the shadow. I mean, it's um, there. Mm -hmm. I really don't understand at the moment. No, then, then it's it's fine. No, <laughs> then it's clear. <laughs> I mean, there are some parts in the film that when you see it the first time, you didn't realize everything. So <laughs> I just wanted to ask once more. <laughs> For you, it's very I, clear. <laughs> when I asked Yakuba, um, he definitely says, yes, termites are not the destructing force, um, which is um, the general belief of what termites are doing. They're destructive. So he knows, um, he knows the role of termites in his system, if you ask him. And also, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And when he, exp yeah, yeah. Sorry, okay. Günther. Günther also wants, yeah. yeah, yeah, this is. Uh, one question about the termites, uh, also to Dorcas. Are the, the termites are coming by themselves, or do you bring the termites to the compost, or how does it work? That was, um, Emma, yeah, that was actually what I wanted to say. Uh, the, compost is, the compost is attracting the termites. So, uh, but the question is, of course, How far can the termites? Uh, how far can the colony be away, for um, in order to uh, that they can uh, sense the the compost? That is exactly the question. Okay. And and is it is it useful if you bring a colony of termites to the, nearby to the to the um, compost, or, or will they come um, by themselves alone? Uh, they will come by themselves. Uh, their own. I mean, uh, Yakuba said that, uh, or oh, he told me that he uh, brought termites from another area into his forest. Actually, I'm, I've never seen that. I mean, I have to believe him because <laughs> everything what he did uh, was working. But um, like the, the most important termite group, I mean, there are different thin groups of termites like um, grass feeders, which are not that important. Mm -hmm. In that area, wood feeders, which just come after a while when the wood is there, the dead wood. Uh, the most important termites were the fungus growers. So they are like, uh, they, they have colonies and they, um, they can bring into the nest everything like um, dead wood. Um, they can, um, any, any manure they can find. And they are growing, um, they are like farmers. They're growing uh, a fungus what they eat afterwards. So because of this fungus growing behavior, they are very, comp uh, they were very strong competitors. So they are actually the, the dominant uh, termite fauna, fauna in this region. Without them, at least from our, from our findings, it wouldn't, it wouldn't work because all the rest um, is just coming afterwards. So uh, I don't know. Um, Probably, of course, it's, it would be possible to somehow transfer, but you would have get to get the whole the whole colony. Of course, you can you can um, how can you say you can rear the colony. Of course, um, like uh, universities uh, do that, but this would be a pretty um, long process. So, if you if you would succeed to bring this um, fungus cross. To the area, if there's nothing around, that is the question. How far, mm. far may they be um, away? But I mean, if the yeah. And is it right that um, without the termites, the the technique of of sai isn't work? Is 
the termites are really um, they important are for this for sai. Is it right or the, is it wrong? For the initial part, for the initial step, for for the beginning of the sai uh, of the sai of the sai, it's it is important because they are um, how is how is it called? My gosh, out of the uh, when they bring the um, because of their tunneling, uh, tun termites cannot move uh, on top of the soil. At least most of the termites don't. Uh, so they have to tunnel their way. And they are um, when they get to uh, compost of that wood, the, the, there is a vast net of, of these tunnels where all this uh, the water can infiltrate and. Uh, Okay, so for that part in the beginning, when there's a degraded soil and um, the site starts in completely degraded barren soil, there is nothing, there is no other, um, like uh, the trees are very important afterwards, for example. Um, everything is coming after, in, in the further steps, like it already starts when in the millet fields, you, you can find a lot of different species of termites already. In the beginning, there's just one 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 uh, taxites only odontothermis so of course we don't know if in another area there's another species who can take over but afterwards already in the millet field there were like um 10 different species in the young forest there were already like 24 different species in the old forest there were already 34 species so um in the very beginning there are there were just the termites Uh, but of course, in the next steps, a, a lot, uh, the whole, the whole ecological net is uh, taking over. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but for for the very, I would, I would, uh, at least I am totally convinced of it. <laughs> the termites have the in it have the very important role in the initial it, to initiate the system. But we have to ask Jakuba. He he definitely he he yeah. I would like to know if he what he what he thinks because once he told me. I mean, he definitely thinks they are not the destroying, but the very important part. So I definitely say yes. Sorry, I definitely say so. short <laughs> short in once. <laughs> but actually, I really would ask Jakuba. Does he does he think um, that? Uh, if it would work without the termites. Maybe ask him, Kali. Sorry, may I? Of course. <laughs> Thanks. Yakuba? Tibaratan Sukia. Tiamba Tedam Tizai, Yamba Tuma Yamba Manda, T. Aziz, come on, determine Tomore. I forgot the word. Uh, for for term, what? termites, you know. Um, um, oh, God, you really are completely. Um, kind of ants. <laughs> <laughs> the white ants, exactly. My God, this is really bad. Um, Kelly, maybe you have to say. I'm out of it since 15 years, you know, say, <laughs> since 12 years. It's really. It's really complete. Asi, how do you say termite in Oh, what is termite? Huh? Okay. Yenda, ti am bate dam ti am bate yenda. Da pa tum dene. Ye mam ke mam mam ke mas ye la. Ti am bate dam ti zai na tum gambi. Ne <laughs> 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 Does he know, Kali? He, he says that uh, with basically uh, working with termites, mm. 
they help remake the soil the soil and uh, basically they they do a great work they renew the soil and <laughs> do you have something to add yeah no 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 i didn't have any volume so sorry <laughs> ah okay so basically termites re renew the the soil and uh, they take care of the ground so they are essential they're essential Okay, we are already. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> we are going already to the end of the uh, film discussion. Are there still questions from other uh, people here? May I just ask one? Yeah, one. of course. It's all is, um, um, because of this corona. Is he fine? Is his family fine? Are all of his friends fine? Is everything doing great and uh, good and uh, fine in, Bo uh, in Goga? How are the people? And how is his family? Adore Kathra Tambangia. Adore Kathra Tambangia. Tibasa and the Nerunda Runda Bambon, the Tikoro Noya. Tiambaza Karemba, Bafaya Lafi, Tibasa Kababini. Never fire Lafi. Never find you there, Lafi. Okay. Never find a super at Rogasile. Um, be a fan of Sukurayele. Okay, from Tokose. Um, everything is fine over there. No one is sick. Everyone is well. And the kids keep asking about Dorcas. We say greetings to the wives and to the kids. <laughs> Thank you very much. Your post, your parabane, come back to your post. I know, Mary. Ellie, can you just say to Yukuba that um, it's so good to see him again after such a long time. And right. I hope he's keeping well and his family and uh, hope he continues to prosper. All right. Uh, first of all, Dorcas, he says, come back to learn more. Zavrame, <laughs> <laughs> Can you post the ambassador and buy at a la a sucre and that and get the fire laughy be? A fagile laughy. Can I give my laugh? Ever no, I don't know the porno. I will cry on the Pamela Bar, your model living out and tossed. Everyone is doing well, everything is fine. Um, he hears about uh, coronavirus, but they don't know what it is. They don't have Super. it there either. Super. No, no, that's it. Just, just, just to say, it's great, great to see him. And um, yeah, Mamsuri no gusko. Apart from that, who no more gusko? Yeah, pa mi yeah yamba zavra. Kusa bar kal keni. Ano mi singo no mahal kengo. Thank you very much. Good love, look good love. They're happy also tonight, and uh, may God give us all health. Eta ra gom den da to unkovati diyalo norobi ti goma goma kose goma na sa imos mosa. Um, I asked Yukuba if he had a last few words for you guys, and he says that he would like to thank everyone that he sees in his screen. Uh, well, thank you for everything that you have done. He sees a few faces that he recognizes, but many faces that he doesn't know. Uh, he especially recognized Dorcas, and basically, thank you. Yeah, we are so thankful for uh, his coming and also that he took the way from Gurga to the town to come and also that all your um, 
his friends and family organized it that he can participate today. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, we will try to, uh, like we will talk in the team about what we can do else for him. I, ho I hope that we can do still something because the film is also running one week more and maybe we can reach other people too. Yeah, and yeah, all the best to all of you and thank you very much for participating here. And it was really an honor to see all of you and <laughs> from different countries. <laughs> uh, yeah, great that you came. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Si ça va ba ba mi da ta men pou si amba barka ya ban diki ya ba menga yi si guru gan wa zindi wa yubi mi ta man nan zindi ngom ne ba amba zabra ba da ta pou si amba barka wo so go ti yi mi na le ba gan king ne ni ni tu ma zi na na msa ngom ne ba 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 sun to yi man an song ya ba to to ti la barka ya ba wa zabra ti su ro no ma king king ya ba pa ma zindi so si ne ton de zabra wo to he would also like to say <laughs> thank you to you guys for uh, in advance for the help that you will be bringing to him and he wants to say thank you to Mark and uh, Dorcas and uh, all the people that made him successful and made his work be known today in the whole entire world. Uh, if you guys didn't do this, he wouldn't be where he is today. So he would like to thank you very much and he hopes that you have long lives. <laughs> yeah. And I hope that a lot of people can still learn a lot from him. <laughs> May I ask one last question? Okay. Uh, because I know he, um, he had one son, uh, Son, who had, to leave, uh, who had to leave Burkina Faso, but he was really like his, he knew also the other names of the trees and stuff. I would like to know if another son is taking over his important role. Because What's the son's name? Sorry. Uh, is there a son who is taking over his role? I mean, he's who is giving him a relief because I mean, yeah, he does, he doesn't have to, uh, the strength anymore to, to work in the fields like before. I mean, it's really, so who is getting into, who is, <laughs> wer, wer stopped in seine Fußstapfen, verdammt nochmal. Da, 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 Pinde pinde yamba biye yembre nda pugodi yamba songwe di yamba tia bi bugola la la na song yamba moso moso wa lebe rende yamba tuunda. Nda tia biye ni ngere tuunda. Tia bi bugola ndege. Yaluki. Uh, the person that will, huh? Loko. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, say greetings. Thank you very much. Yeah, Barca. <laughs> okay, so I would say uh, goodbye to everybody. And yeah, I, I could talk longer, but I think Yakuba is also tired and <laughs> it's good to close. And yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, thank you once more. And yeah, we keep in touch somehow. <laughs> yeah, Barca, who's a boss ago? Barca. Barca Bosco. Barca Bosco.